YouTube, what's up? Ryan Knows Tech here with TechInform.us and yet another short application review. This time it's GFX card status or graphics card status for 15-inch uh, MacBook Pro owners who want to manually be able to control which graphics card they're using. Their integrated Intel HD 3000, at least on the 2011 models, uh, card or their AMD Radeon card, depending on which 15-inch you have, the 6550, I believe, or the 6750 with the gig of graphics memory. I've got that one, the lower end one has, has the 256 meg. So it's actually quite a substantial difference between the two cards. But uh, the, as you can see, this application is actually running up here. You get a little I for the integrated card and a card and a D for the discrete card. So you can pick which one you want. Well, then you've got this option down here, dynamic switching. So why not just let OS 10 do it? That's the default way that uh, the thing comes from factory. Problem is, it sees that you've got a browser open and you know maybe FaceTime, iTunes, something like that. It thinks that you're using more power than you are, so it switches it to your discrete card, which is faster, yes, but it uses a lot more battery power. So you're probably going to be better off to keep it an integrated, which is a very uh, capable card. And then when you want to do some video exporting or, or editing or something like that, then switch it over to the discrete card. Good idea. Uh, here's just tells you what card you're using. I'm using the Intel HD Graphics 3000 card. You can go into preferences, get some about information and check for updates up there. It tells you who the coder is and you can quit the app from here. Show you what it looks like when we switch. Just click it there. We get a growl notification in the top right telling us which one is used and then the icon changes to a D telling, it's, telling us that it's discrete instead of integrated. Switching it back over to the other card. There it is. It's instant. You don't have to reboot like you did with old ones. Uh, it's a really smooth, snappy system, and it, it makes a pretty big difference with performance. Taking a look at preferences here, we can use smart menu bar icons. I don't get this. It kind of changes the D a little bit. Don't like the way it looks. Stupid feature. Check for updates on startup. Why not load it at startup? I recommend that if you're going to use this full time, and then you can tell it to or not to use those uh, notifications in the top right that we just looked at. Under advanced, uh, we can have it restore the last used mode on startup. I like this. So if I were to shut it down right now and come back in the morning, it would come uh, right back up like it is now. Just a more unified experience for me. I, I know what to expect. And I really only use the discrete card when exporting videos like this one. We can also use power-based switching. If you wanted to, whenever you're plugged in to power, use your discrete card or on battery, use your integrated card. That's a nice option, but uh, I'm usually on battery, so I just like to throttle it manually. So that's what the settings look like. If you're interested in downloading it, here it is. So I'll leave this link down below. It's free, it's open source, quick download. It's uh, pretty small and does support Lion. I've never had any problems with it. Nice application to manually uh, to manually go in and switch those based on what you're doing uh, with OE Cake. I don't know if anybody even knows what OE Cake is. If I can even open it there. So kind of a physics application. This is definitely something to see if the application works, and it definitely does, because when you have stuff going on with your integrated card, then you switch it to the discrete card. It's so much quicker, uh, and, and that extra gig, or well, it's actually 768 megs larger than the 3000 card. It makes a pretty big difference. So uh, let me know what you guys think of the application, if you've used it before, if you've found something better, if that's possible. I'll be sure to check that out. In the meantime, check out our tech blog, techinform.us, and my Twitter, because I'm a very interesting person, twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. Have an awesome weekend. Talk to you guys next Monday. Bye-bye.